create new asset, go under projects, maybe name it wheel. And then let's uh, new VXM wheel zero. So uh, first thing that you can do uh, when you try to make a wheel, you can downscale uh, with this button here, reduce volume resolution so uh, it's kind of easier to work with and we also know that the wheel should be symmetric over all axes so uh, we can do something like this, like this and that's kind of round right uh, and then let's just uh, make it one tall because uh, yeah you can just uh, make it taller if you wanted to and then you can slowly increase the amount of voxels that you have and then you can try to maybe uh, make it more nicely rounded uh, so here you would probably add something like this so it still looks kind of circular Whoops. and uh, maybe you could also do even something like this uh, so when you're making like nice um, circular shapes you kind of want to go from more voxels here you have like two to one and then back to two uh, so that kind of guarantees like a nice uh, curvature and now if we uh, double the size again uh, so we're back at uh, 32 by 32 uh, we can do something similar again so maybe like this but but now you have to be careful uh, because of the faces so let me just go out uh, if you have too many faces, probably some users might complain. Uh, so here you can see we have zero faces once we add the wheel. We have 60 faces, okay. Um, and uh, as you might have guessed, um, the blocky objects don't really have much faces, but round objects, they have a ton of faces. So. Uh, and usually something like this would be uh, considered pretty good or you could even do like some anti-aliasing I'm just using like the colors I have like a, like one shade brighter here and here maybe and that would also uh, it, it would create kind of the same effect without creating more faces because now uh, if we delete this parts that we have highlighted um, and go out now we have 130 faces and that's more than double than what we had before and uh, it really doesn't look much better so that's the first way you can do it um, another one is to basically make a rig uh, so let's not create a child node let's just duplicate it Wheel one. Mm. So let's move it outwards a little bit, and then uh, let's delete this whole thing and make it. Uh, here you kind of now you kind of have to figure out what your dimensions are gonna be, and uh, maybe we can go with eight and two so this is gonna be the wheel outline uh, and let's use orange instead of pink maybe I mean who, who really cares uh, but here what you wanna do is move the pivot point basically like so uh, so let's detach the or unlink the child node or the VXM and then uh, let's just create like a bunch of nodes and you can even make this process faster by doing two sides so uh, if we put this to 32 and then mirror uh, so like so like so okay and now this is at the middle 
and so this is gonna be even faster. So now you basically can duplicate this, name it something unique, and then just rotate uh, like so maybe. Uh, you you can you can always uh, <laughs> go into more details or maybe uh, do something for them to uh, not have like these edges. But uh, at the end you were gonna end up with a pretty round shape. Uh, so. Uh, Pro of this strategy is that you usually use a lot less faces than this, um, but uh, the con is that you create like a lot of nodes, which also isn't like too great. But uh, yeah, you 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 have to compromise somewhere. Uh, so when I try to do like really nice wheels, I usually do them like this or. Uh, another thingy uh, that I'm gonna show after this. So one circle, second circle and then um, so this one is kind of good if you know what the diameter or the radius is and you don't really care too much about uh, like these teeth or the imperfections. Um, <clears throat> and also you kind of know where the middle is, especially here where I have nested all the nodes to the previous one. But the third one is, uh, let's name this wheel 2, and we're just gonna get rid of this part. And uh, here you basically want to put the pivot point at, the, at one of the edges. Um, so it's it doesn't really matter how far up here it is, so we'll just leave it at zero. And let's create a child node, wheel 2. And uh, here we... where are you, wheel 2? Let's move you... Wait, what? Oh, I grabbed wheel 1. <laughs> uh, wheel 2. Um, and uh, here you kind of... Uh, have a trade-off between uh, it's gonna look pretty nice uh, or it it's not gonna have these teeth but uh, you don't really know where its uh, center is so uh, let's attach this here and then uh, we move it out the full length which is 8 in our case and then uh, you have to be kind of careful that you have the pivot point on the outer side. Uh, so when you uh, make it slope inwards, you have like a nice hinge on the outside. Uh, otherwise, if you have it on the inside, let me just oh, let me just show you that quickly as well. Uh, if we align it now with this and it's on the inner side, we're gonna make the teeth. So that's usually not what you want, but uh, in some cases you might, so that's also an option. And uh, now here the cool thing is that you can duplicate this node. And because it's sloped relative to its parent, uh, once you duplicate it, you can just add it here and uh, it's, uh, it kind of completes itself and I think uh, we used a different, a different angle here but uh, it's kind of similar or even uh, we can do like 30 maybe uh, and uh, here once they've fixed the duplicate name you can now duplicate this parent node which is the first one that is sloped uh, so duplicate, uh, name it W22 and then you can just attach it and the circle grows and now you can uh, duplicate it again uh, we need to name it something unique like so, attach and uh, we're, we're almost done 
Um, so how many more do we need? One, uh, probably three, so we can count from here. Duplicate this one, because we're gonna keep it and the uh, two child nodes, so we name this W to four. <laughs> and you can see these that we have duplicated multiple times, have like a bunch of ones in parentheses, but whatever. Uh, so here is the last circle. And also, uh, what you can see here is uh, that this circle is now a little bit smaller than the other one, because um, it doesn't have these gaps in between.